In the shadowy annals of human history, a race of giants roamed the earth, the Anakites, descendants of the mighty Goliath. This is not a fairy tale, but a tale as old as time itself, passed down through generations and etched into the sacred pages of the Bible, specifically in the book of Numbers, chapter 13, verse 33. Here we find our first trace of the Anakites, a people of colossal stature, their roots intertwined with that of Goliath, the famed Philistine giant defeated by the young shepherd, David. These were the same people who instilled bone-chilling fear in the hearts of the Israelites, a fear so profound that it echoed through the ages. Picture this. The Israelite spies, returning from their reconnaissance mission, reported back with trembling voices. They spoke of men so tall, so imposing, that they felt like grasshoppers in their presence. They described cities fortified to the heavens, a testament to the might and prowess of the Anakites. In the face of such formidable foes, the Israelites were filled with dread. But who were these giants really? Were they merely a figment of the imagination, a product of exaggerated folklore? Or did they truly walk this earth, their heavy footprints embedded in the sands of time? The Anakites were no ordinary people. Their lineage, their legacy, it all points to an existence that challenges our traditional understanding of human history and evolution. And yet their story is as real as the words you hear right now. The existence of the Anakites poses intriguing questions. Were they merely a distinct group of unusually tall people? Or were they a different species altogether? Could they be the missing link in our evolutionary chain, or perhaps a separate branch altogether? The existence of the Anakites challenges our understanding of human evolution and history, but what if they were more than just myth? As we delve deeper into this intriguing chapter of our past, remember the truth is often stranger than fiction, and sometimes giants do walk among us. To unravel the truth of the Anakites, we delve into the evidence both biblical and archaeological. The Anakites are first mentioned in the book of Deuteronomy. We are told, where can we go? Our brothers have made our hearts melt in fear, they say. The people are stronger and taller than we are. The cities are large, with walls up to the sky. We even saw the Anakites there. This passage, Deuteronomy 128, sets the stage for a people of extraordinary stature, the Anakites. Then, in Joshua 11.21, we find another reference. At that time, Joshua went and destroyed the Anakites from the hill country, from Hebron, Debir, and Anab, from all the hill country of Judah, and from all the hill country of Israel. Joshua totally destroyed them and their towns. Here we see the geographical location of these giants, the hills of Hebron, and their eventual fate at the hands of Joshua. The biblical accounts are fascinating, but what about archaeological findings? Indeed, they too support the existence of large-sized individuals in ancient times. In the Hebron Hills, the biblical home of the Anakites, archaeologists have uncovered remains that point towards individuals of significant height. These remains, although not conclusively linked to the Anakites, provide tantalizing clues about the people who once inhabited these lands. These findings corroborate the scriptural accounts giving them a real-world context. It's as if the past is reaching out to us, inviting us to explore the lives of these extraordinary people. The Anakites, a race of giants, are no longer just characters in an ancient text, but a part of our collective human history. The evidence paints a picture of a bygone era, where giants walked among men. It's an era that challenges our understanding of the past and encourages us to look beyond the known, into the realm of the extraordinary. It's a journey into the world of the Anakites, a journey that continues as we explore modern interpretations of these ancient giants. Modern scholars, archaeologists and theologians have interpreted the Anakites in various ways. The Anakites, these intriguing figures from the past, have been perceived through various lenses. Some view them as literal giants, descendants of Goliath, while others see them as metaphors for powerful adversaries. This diversity of interpretations brings a richness to our understanding of these ancient narratives. One such interpretation comes from Dr. Michael Heiser, a renowned scholar in biblical studies. He suggests that the Anakites could represent the challenges and obstacles that we must overcome. In his view, these giants are not just figures of stone and clay, but emblematic of the struggles we face in our lives. They symbolize the trials that test our strength and resilience, pushing us to grow and evolve. Then there's Professor Richard Hess, a respected Old Testament scholar. 
he puts forth the idea that the Anakites were not literal giants, but a powerful and intimidating tribe. Their size and strength were perhaps exaggerated to highlight their formidable nature, serving as a powerful metaphor for the adversities that the Israelites had to overcome. These interpretations, though different, share a common thread. They see the Anakites as symbols of power, strength and adversity. They remind us that life is filled with challenges, but it is through facing these challenges that we discover our true strength. Other modern interpretations look at the Anakites from a historical or anthropological perspective, suggesting that they might have been a distinct ethnic group. These interpretations offer a tantalizing glimpse into the complex tapestry of ancient societies and cultures. Modern interpretations of the Anakites are as diverse as they are fascinating. Each interpretation adds a layer of depth and complexity to our understanding of these intriguing figures. Whether literal giants or powerful metaphors, the Anakites continue to fascinate us. Beyond their imposing stature, the Anakites offer us profound lessons. This ancient tribe, known for their incredible size and strength, has much to teach us about courage, perseverance and faith. One of the most powerful lessons we can learn from the Anakites is about facing our fears. In the Bible, the Israelites were initially terrified of the Anakites. They saw their size and strength as insurmountable obstacles. However, they were encouraged in Numbers 14, 9. Do not rebel against the Lord and do not be afraid of the people of the land because we will devour them. Their protection is gone but the Lord is with us. Do not be afraid of them. This passage reminds us that fear can often be our greatest enemy, not the obstacle itself. When we face our fears head on, we often find they are not as formidable as we once thought. The story of the Anakites also teaches us about overcoming obstacles. The Israelites were dwarfed by the Anakites in size and strength, but they did not let that deter them. They drew strength from their faith and courageously faced their adversaries. This teaches us that no matter how big or intimidating our challenges may seem, they can be overcome. We just need to summon our courage, tap into our inner strength, and face our challenges head on. Finally, the Anakite's story underscores the power of faith. The Israelites were not the biggest, strongest or most powerful, but they had faith. They believed in a power greater than themselves, and that faith gave them the strength to face the Anakites and prevail. This serves as a reminder that faith can give us the strength to overcome any obstacle we face. In conclusion, the Anakite's story is a powerful testament to human courage, resilience and faith. It teaches us that no matter how big our obstacles, no matter how formidable our challenges, they can be overcome. The Anakites may have been giants, but their story teaches us that no obstacle is too great to overcome. As we navigate our own life's journey, we walk in the footsteps of giants. The Anakites, the mighty progeny of Goliath, aren't merely figures confined to the annals of time and pages of scripture. They symbolize the immense challenges we encounter in our day-to-day -day existence. Our giants may not tower over us physically, but they can loom large in our minds, whether they're personal hurdles, lingering fears, or gnawing doubts. The Anakites, despite their formidable stature, were not invincible. They too faced opposition, adversity, and eventual defeat. Their story serves as a stark reminder that no matter how large our obstacles may seem, they are not insurmountable. The Israelites, a seemingly insignificant group compared to the Anakites, managed to overcome these giants. How did they succeed? Through courage, faith, and the belief that they could conquer their fears. They didn't allow the size of their adversary to intimidate them. Instead, they harnessed their inner strength, their David, and faced the challenge head on. Now, as we traverse our own paths, we must remember the lessons the Anakites teach us. We must confront our own giants, not with fear, but with resolution. We must not allow the magnitude of our challenges to overshadow our ability to overcome them. We must draw upon our inner David, the wellspring of strength and resilience within us all. The Anakites' story is not just about giants of the past. It's about us, here and now. It's about our capacity to face adversity, to conquer our fears, to rise above our challenges. So as we step forward, let us do so with courage. Let us do so with faith. Let us remember that we are not merely walking in the footsteps of giants. We are creating our own path, our own legacy. 
Like the Israelites facing the Anakites, we too can conquer our giants. Each of us carries the strength of David within us, ready to face any Goliath that stands in our path.